Let's say I want to uh, solve cos of x plus 80 degrees equals 0.7 between 0 and 360. Okay? So, for this one, uh, I'm going to inverse cos both sides to start off with. So, x plus 80 degrees is the inverse cos of 0.7. So, I make sure my calculator is in degrees. Inverse cos of 0.7 is 45.6 degrees. Okay, so 45.6. Okay, so that gives me one solution to the original problem of cos x equals 0.7. So we're going to sketch the curve. We're sketching cosine, not the transformed curve. Okay, so there's 360. Uh, there's 90. Uh, there's 270. And there's 180, okay? So 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.7 rather, is there. So we've got two solutions. The first one is this 45.6. And the second one can be found by doing 360 take away 45.6, which is 314.4. I have x plus 80 is 45.6, and I have x plus 80 is 314.4 degrees. Okay, so these are the two equations that I now work with. So I'm going to subtract 80 from both of them. I'm going to subtract 80 from this one first, seeing as I've got that number ready. So that will give me x is 234.4 degrees. And that is one of my final solutions because it's between 0 and 360. Let's get back to this one. So inverse cos of 0 0.7 got me that 45.6. I'm going to take 80 from both sides. So that's going to leave me with x is minus 34.4 to one decimal place. Now that is not between 0 and 360. So in order to get it into the range, I am going to add 2 pi to this, or oh, sorry, 360 degrees. I'm going to add the period of the function co cos x to that, okay? So adding 360 to this gets me 325.6 degrees. So I've added 360, the period of the function, to get that solution. And these are the two solutions to the original problem, okay? And that solves the problem.